hi everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to make okwa the original okwa or bambara pudding okay okwa is a very simple recipe it doesn't require so much ingredients there are two ways to make this okay there is plain okwa that requires only salt and and uh pepper and there is this other one the original okwa soka which is the one that i'm making okay so i have my aluminum foil all folded and ready i have uh my uzuza i added a little bit of crayfish and pepper okay so um i have my red oil red oil is a chief ingredient in this recipe because without the red oil your okwa will come out very strong and and you wouldn't want that okay first of all i'm going to be adding some palm, some of the palm oil into the bowl and i'm going to be adding the upper floor into the bowl also and by the way i have lukewarm water not cold water not hot water just lukewarm okay so i've added in the upper flour into the um bowl i'm going to mix in that with my spatula make sure you mix mix it very well because if not you're going to be having lumps at the end and you wouldn't like that in your okra okay so i'm going to mix this and combine it really well before i'll make sure that i the red oil i use the red oil to massage the whole floor before adding the um oil you can see i've mix this really well so i'm going to be adding some of the lukewarm water to it and i'm I going to be continue mixing at this point you are allowed to use your hand to mix because the spatula is not going to do so much good to it okay i've already washed my hand though i didn't show the clip where i was using my hand to mix but just use your hand to mix that way you have a very smooth um textured uh, butter okay so keep watching and one more thing guys when mixing okwa, if you don't add enough water, okay, your okwa is going to come out really, really strong. I mean, very, very strong and I'm sure you wouldn't like that. So, you are going to add enough water and as well as, as um, enough oil, okay. That way, you will have a very soft and good textured upper so at this point i went ahead to mix with my hand and at this point i'm done mixing you can see how smooth uh, how smooth the butter is and the consistency you are looking for should be um it shouldn't be that thick okay and it shouldn't be that watery at least add enough water to it that is the point i'm trying to make okay so i've added in my uzuza seed my ground uzuza seed with pepper um, I added a little bit of maggi, but this is not necessary. Okay, like I said, this is original okwa soka that I'm making, so you want to add enough ozuza and enough uh, um, pepper that will distinguish it from the usual okwa we normally have, that which comprises of just um, salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm going to add salt. Add salt to your taste, and be careful when adding salt so that it doesn't come out very salty. Okay, so I'm going to add some salt, and I'll mix that up. Then I'll be scooping the butter into the foil paper, already folded foil paper. Now you can use banana leaves if that what you have. You can use plastic bag, or you can use container to add uh, to pour in your okwa mixture but because um the day i made this okwa there was no banana leaf available where i live so i had to use i had to use foil okay you can use anything that you want to um cook your okwa all right so i'm going to be pouring the butter into the foil and i'm going to be cooking this for at least maximum of one hour i cooked my more than that so that i don't you know um end up with uncooked okwa so but the maximum should be one hour all right let me know the city you are watching me from let me know the country you are watching me from okay and let me know if you're nigerian do you like your okwa plain like without the uzuza the crayfish and the rest or do you like it like with the uzuza and enough pepper for me i just like simple okwa but my husband likes the ozuza and the pepper type. So, the day I made this okwa, I made two different badges. You can even see from the first clip of this video that there is one that is plain and there is one that has the ozuza and the remaining other ingredients. So, 
for me i love my aqua very simple just salt and pepper not too much pepper just slight pepper and oil that is it aqua doesn't require so much so much of ingredients so when i'm done wrapping this in the foil pepper i'm going to be cooking this like i said i'm going to be cooking this uh i ended up cooking this for one hour 30 minutes and you can see how delicious this aqua came out it looks so yummy this very first one is the plain one it doesn't have the ozuza thank you so much for watching i see you in my next